Aloha friends. In a very meditative place. And what I want to talk about today is that it seems like there's a lot of people that want to get over on some other people. And those people want to be gotten over on. Or they wouldn't be playing the part. So there's a lot of getters and a lot of people that are getting got. But there are some others yet still who don't have any interest in getting or getting got. <clears throat> and they realize that The portal door that began to open in 2012 will be completely open on December 20th, 2020. Or as close to fully open. In essence, all I'm saying is that it's fully open at that time. The portal door is fully open. And I believe there may be a group of people <clears throat> that realize that now that that door is fully open, that it allows humans the ability to pass through the earth realms. And so that, in a way, you could almost think of it as symbology of, and I'm going to tell you here about something else that's also symbology, but don't get tripped up. A lot of people think that it's literal, and a lot of people think that it's complete bullshit. But that is the rapture. Okay, it's symbolic. <clears throat> and... So in, in the same way, what I'm telling you about with this portal door opening and being able to pass between the realms, because the Taurus field is down, let us say, because the Taurus field of the Iron Age, the Taurus field of Pisces, is being replaced with the Taurus field of Aquarius. And so there's some sort of a window, a gap, an opening. And those that are aware of this, and perhaps even some that are not aware of it, because I believe that some people are going to be going towards the center realm, and some are going to go towards the outer realm. But these are small groups of people Relatively speaking, the majority of people are just going to remain right here where they're at in the same place that they, they're, they're not going through any portal doors. They're not going to any alternate worlds. But see, the thing, the thing about this is that the world is coming to them. This world is coming to them. They don't even have to leave to go anywhere because Aquarius is will be right here. So, no matter what, this, see this plays, this is, this plays out uh, beautifully for everybody. No matter what does or doesn't happen. Because either way you look at it, going from the Iron Age to the Bronze Age is an upgrade. And if those of us, the only people I suppose that this may not be so great for 
would be the ones going to the outer realm. And, and keep in mind, the two planets for the outer realm are Mars and Jupiter. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's Jupiter. I might, I could be wrong about that, but whatever. There's, there's two planets for sure, a sun and a moon for sure, like all the other realms have a sun and a moon. And Mars is the sun of what would be the third realm, the third earth plane. And have they not been talking about going to Mars and all this stuff about Mars even now while we're still transitioning from Pisces to Aquarius. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe that will be better for them. Now that to, in my mind, these are service to self people that are conscious enough to know about all this occult information. They've the, the secrets have been passed down to them. They're fortunate in that regard, but they're using it in the wrong way, and so it's going to propel them down a particular trajectory. But now this knowledge is coming forth for everybody. Nothing will, nothing's going to be hidden. Nothing's going to remain hidden. All the shit that you don't know yet, you're going to you're going to know soon. Or let's let us even say it like this. Anything you want to know, you can know. And where you see where is it coming from? Where's that going to come from? It's going to come from within you. Humans have always been thinking in terms of Everything's going to come to them externally. If you want a bunch of knowledge and wisdom, you're going to have to go read a bunch of books and do a bunch of, you know, learning. No, that's ego. That was the, that's the character. You're not the character. You already have all this information within. All you got to do is go to your library, your library. Access the Akashic Record and ask it yourself God, anything you want. Nothing's hidden. You're not. You're. You're only limited by yourself. You're only limited by your belief that you are limited. You would only say to yourself, "Well, I can't do that because you don't believe that you can do that, and therefore it manifests for you, because you're co-creating your reality." And uh, we're coming to embrace this as. All people are coming back to the realization that all, all are one. All are one. We're all reflections of each other. And this is what it looks like to wake up. Both individually and collectively. This is what it's like. You're experiencing that now. We are experiencing that now. And so a great weight is being lifted off the shoulders of humanity so that we may breathe properly and think clearly. And when you're thinking clearly and you're breathing properly, you can just tune into this right here, this silence. And everything is resolved. Everything is perfect. Everything is harmonious. And it always is. So if you are here in this moment and it is here in this moment, 
then this moment is available every moment. Even in when, when you're in the midst of your own storm, your own self-co-created storm. See, you need to get through that storm for whatever reason, whatever it is. Why you probably subconsciously created the storm. You probably didn't consciously create it, but you might have. Either way, it doesn't matter that once the storm manifests in your life, you have to go through it. You have to get through it. And you will get through it. And you will, you will be better on the other side of it. Guaranteed. If your ship gets busted up, you're going to repair it. And you might even get ideas to repair it in such a way that next time it'll be able to handle those kind of G-forces or whatever. Prepare now, my friends. 2020 is not that far away. December 20th, 2020 is not that far away. And if you desire an upgrade to, let us say, your reality, if you are feeling a bit tired of this old realm that we've been living in, this old mentality, this old state of consciousness, this dualistic paradigm that is played out in every which way but Sunday. If you're a bit tired of that and you're ready for something better, something more, something higher, something that is at least a step towards unity, true unity, true open heart, love of self, and other as self. Then that opportunity is here right now, but it's going to be here in full, let us say, when the portal door completes its opening, which began on 2012. That's why it's coming to be known as Sovereignty 2020. Because if you're not sovereign, and I don't mean sovereign in some humanistic, legalistic, human paradigm. I don't mean, that's not what I mean at all. I mean something way more beautiful and amazing than that. And if you know what I'm talking about and you know what that kind of sovereign is, then cultivate that. And you will be ready. You will be ready. For whatever kind of transition into higher frequency, a higher world, a higher paradigm, it's coming and it's available. And it's here now. It's not all, see, it's a paradox. It's coming, but it's already here. You're coming, but you were already here. Your consciousness is rising, but your consciousness was already here. Your life is going to get better, but it's already great right now. So if, if it's anything less than that, you know, if, it's, if, you, if you couldn't agree with that and said, no, my life's terrible, well, then it can only get better then. So for sure, this is a great message for you because it can only get better for you. But I'm telling the people that already have have it great and, and are very thankful and humble and, and realize how wonderful we do have it, that it is going to get better for you too. This is a universal upgrade. You know, when the, when the cosmic clock does something... The multiverse knows about it. But this is just our cosmic egg. Right now. 
and it's gonna it's gonna mean it's gonna be amazing just for this humanity associated with this cosmic egg to hatch from that egg and, and become something see what happens inside of an egg any kind of an egg what's happening in there what's going on in there and at a certain point does doesn't what was going on in there feel the need to crack the egg and, and, and get out of it and move on and become? Isn't it driven instinctually to do that even? Wholeness until next time, my friends.